Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is a Skittle Waterfall Rainbow. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is Skittles, a glue gun, a water bottle, a box cutter or scissors, a PVC pipe, and a tank of water. Setup will vary on parts and pieces you use depending on how big your tank is. So um, I'm going to have to cut my water bottle because my tank is not that big of a tank. So you kind of want to put the water bottle next to your tank so that the water bottle and the PVC pipe that goes on top of it um, is going to be completely submerged in water. So, you know, you could just start off with the X-Acto knife or box cutter and then um, cut it with uh, the scissors afterwards. But the end of the results is you want this uh, little station here that's going to hold your pipe um, to be even, so you don't want it angled in any way, so you might have to recut it to make sure it's uh, set like that. Just like there, you see mine's off a little bit, I'm going to trim it up. Then you're going to take your Skittles, and I'm just using a hot glue gun, so be careful here. A couple different ways you can do it. You can put the glue on the back of each Skittle, or like I'm doing here, just making four dots or five, depending on how big your pipe is, um, and then just placing your Skittles uh, directly down the line. Now you could mix the colors uh, but since I'm doing a rainbow uh, experiment I want the same uh, color to flow down the rainbow. So here it is to save you a little bit of time I put them all on. Um, it is a trick if you don't uh, put them too close together it can't fall forward. So there it is and we're ready to do our experiment. This experiment I'm starting off with uh, regular room temperature water. Uh, take your Skittles and put it in the water and place it gently onto the cap or the uh, control and you can see right away the water is starting to dissolve the Skittles and therefore kind of like what you did with the plate I did earlier uh, this effect is more falling to the ground getting you hence the name of the experiment the R Skittle rainbow uh, waterfall so here it is and it's pretty impressive and I'm going to tell you the science behind it. This experiment has three concepts. The first is solubility. The food coloring used to coat the surface of the candies in the water soluble. When placed in the water, the coloring dissolves gradually, turning the clear water into the color water. Second is diffusion. The liquid molecules, the small particles, move randomly around bombarding one another resulting into a Brownarian movement. Over time, this motion causes the color molecules to spread from the areas of the high concentration around the candies to the areas of the low concentrations, like towards the bottom of the tank. Sugar water is more dense than regular water. And the third concept is stratification. The physics concept is the hardest, and in fact, I'm still not quite sure if it's the right or the only explanation why the different colors are not mixed together during this experiment, as you can see. When particles of different sizes are placed in a thin film of liquid medium, the particles tend to stratify, configure themselves into different layers instead of mixing together. This should explain why the different colors did not blend together. So I decided to try this experiment one more time, but instead of using room temperature water, I used very hot tap water. And as you can see that I did not balance the candy correctly and it wants to fall over, so I'm going to have to hold it this time. But you will notice that the food color and the coats of the candy is coming off very fast in the hot tap water and the particles are moving extremely faster to the bottom of the tank. But still, the, the colors are still being separated out uh, where they won't intermix, where you can see the green in the background and then the red and then the yellow. Let me come up a little farther. And they do not want to uh, separate out, which is really fascinating in the third concept that I talked about. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to share and to click thumbs up, and thanks for watching. Okay, that video seems really interesting. Oh, and um, that video too. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking right now, those two videos, click on them at the same time, and those two, and the red subscribe button down below, and um, yeah, I'm thinking, um, thank you, uh, bye, those two videos too. <laughs>